everybody. Today we're going to talk about how you can create your own melodic cell. So what's a melodic cell? A melodic cell is just a little fragment of a melody based on either a little bit of a scale or a little bit of a chord that's just going to give you a very quick melodic device that you can use on your solos, you can use when you're composing or even when you're accompanying and you need some counterpoint or melodic shapes on your voicings. Okay, so that's kind of what a melodic cell is. In this case, we're not going to talk about rhythm. We're just going to talk about how you can get the right notes over a major chord. In this case, you can do this over any chord. And in this case, we're going to build it out of an inversion. So if you guys know what an inversion is, if we get a C major seven chord, uh, we have a four note structure. We get root position, first inversion, second inversion, and third inversion accordingly. Now those are inversions. What I'm going to show you how to, uh, how you can actually grab and kind of disorganize those inversions or break them down in a way that they stop sounding like a chord and they actually sound like a little melodic fragment or how I'm calling it a melodic cell. Okay, and then what we're going to do is transpose that little cell, in this case from C major 7, we're going to go down the circle of fifth and just do C major 7, go down to F major 7, keep going to B flat major 7, etc. All the way so that you can basically create your own circle of fifth exercise based on a melodic cell that you've created and that you like. So here's how it goes. In this case, I'm going to apply... Um, I need a couple of techniques in order to break down the, uh, those inversions. So what I'm going to do is a technique I really like, um, which is you, you can split the octave, meaning you can change the octave within the chord, or you can change direction or change order. Those three are really good devices that you can do over any inversion in order for it to sound a lot more interesting. So how about this? I'm going to skip every second note of those inversions, and I'm going to put it an octave higher at the end. So root position is going to be, I skip that E and played it at the end an octave higher. I'm going to do the same now, first inversion, I skip the G and played it at the end, that one's really nice. And you can keep going and do that in second and third inversion. Now I'm going to work here with that first inversion one, that's a really nice shape. Now that's a melodic cell, and it's a pretty nice one, very short. You can grab that and transpose it to any chord. Right now we're dealing with major seven chords. So now that I like that, you can write it down, right? And then I'm going to go around the circle of fifth, and that will instantly give you a lot of harmonic flexibility, and it will train your ear to get not only that melodic uh, cell, but it will get you a lot more comfortable in those chords. So here it goes. So that's how you can create your own circle of fifth exercise, grabbing a melodic cell you like. You can do that with many other melodic cells. Just grab a chord inversion, split it up in different ways until you get a sound you like. Of course, you can do this with uh, approach notes and chromatics. There's many ways of doing this. This is just a little, let's say, a beginning on how you can start creating your own vocabulary. And here's a little demo of how a little improv would sound using this cell. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you next time. Bye bye. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for a lot of new content coming up.
Thank you so much and see you soon. Thank you.